In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest adjustment that you can utilize to slow down the PA shot seams play out of the tight offset tight end. Really simple defense here for tight offset, but I actually think it's very effective. What we're gonna do in our coaching adjustments is we're gonna put our auto alignment to base, we're gonna put our zone coverage on match, and then we're gonna be in dollar, and we wanna turn our auto flip off so that we can control where this coverage is going to roll to. Now, if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks. We just dropped several updates to the dollar defense over there on the Patreon page. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, head down to the description and go click the link down below after the video. All right, guys, Cover 3 Cloud Show 2 is the defense that I like to slow down this concept. And basically, we want to run this with the cloud. You see how the cornerback on the right side of the screen is in a light blue zone? We want that cornerback to be on the short side of the field because that is where most people are going to be running their PA shot seams play too. So we're going to flip the formation so that it runs it to this side now because we know that we're going to be on the left hash. And then really simple... Um, all we're going to have to do, you can kind of disguise it a little bit. So you can you can press, you can walk these guys down. But really the only adjustment you have to do here is you're just going to man up the linebacker that is on the right or on the uh, left side of the screen. You're going to man him up on the outside player. And that's literally it. <laughs> that's literally the adjustment to stop PA shot. Seems super simple. And what you'll see here is we're going to get a bracket concept on the right or on the left side corner route. And so if they try to throw this left side corner, you're gonna notice here that that is almost impossible to throw in that tight window. It's a very tight window. And if they make one little mistake with their pass lead, it's an interception. Typically it's gonna be a KO anyway. The one thing you can, I would also suggest real quick is to shade it outside. Shade your coverage outside that will help that player play a little bit more outside leverage. And then what you'll see here, Boom. And you see, like, see how hard of a throw that is into the boundary. It's just really hard to it's really hard to get the ball there. Now, if you wanted to make this a little better, um, if you wanted to really slow it down, just manually, before you man this guy up, manually back off, which I messed it up here, so I'll show it to you in a second. I'll show you this real quick. That third is going to play that every single time. I'm not going to be able to throw that ball uh, to that player very well. But... Let's say that we wanted to really bracket that corner out better. Go ahead and manually back off that outside corner. And then now this man up and that backed off cloud is going to really bracket that short corner. Uh, it's going to be pretty much taken away. So you see right here, if I try to throw this, like that's an interception every single time. You're not going to be able to throw that consistently. Now, I did want to quickly show you something about this. So another thing that you're going to see is if someone is smart, if you think about what they can do offensively to counter what you're doing defensively with this simple setup right here, yes, it is really good for stopping PA shot seams, but what if they did this? So again, just hypothetically, what if they did this? What if they did this where they streak this left side receiver and then they try to hit this corner route right over the top? You're going to see here. That's decent. Okay. That's, that's decent in terms of separation. So some ways that we can counter that, um, is if that's something that they really want to start to try to do, one of the things that we can start to do is we can keep this man up here, but now we're going to, instead of putting that hook curl, we're going to put him on a vertical hook. And watch what this vertical hook is going to do. So you'll see that this vertical hook, if they do this, if they run everybody vertical, that vertical hook's going to match, and he's going to help kind of bracket that. And he has a shot to be able to get back there on that corner. And then the other thing that you can do, let's say that that's not, you know, you don't really like that or whatever. That's fine. Um, one other thing you can do to kind of help slow this down is you could take this outside defender and put him on a quarter. And what this quarter is going to do, you have the vertical hook underneath still. Um, you might want to put him on a purple or something, but this quarter will still help kind of close that gap there. And he, if he has deep out zone KO right there, I just got to click on and I can touch that. If I click on and I make that play, like that's going to be taken away. So those are some simple things you can do. Um, this outside third, if you think about it, is really good for the base setup of PA shot seams. But if they start to do that secondary thing that I was just showing you, where they start to streak that defend, that left side receiver, then you want to make sure that you're taking this left side player and putting him in some type of deep zone so that he can help bracket the deep corner. And then really from there, 
you know, some type of like curl flat on that side can kind of help bracket this really, really good corner route. Um, you know, you see right here, like the KO right there. If he touches him, it's a, it's, it's a knockout, right? Now, again, you're not going to stop everything every time. Um, it's Madden 23, but if you want a really simple PA shot seems defense where they really have to start to adjust how they're going to play, just run this and man this guy up. Just, just literally just run this, man this guy up on him, and then from here, you're in the middle of the field. If you see both receiver, if you see that left side receiver run a streak, also there's nobody over the middle of the field, so you can easily just come backside and and say, okay, well, I'm going to go use that deep corner. But really, this I think is the best way to bracket the PA shot seems corner route. As you see, he's fairly consistent. If they're going to run this concept, they must always run this to the short side of the field. Um, the one thing you got to the one thing you got to be careful about again, if we haven't shown if we've shown you anything in this. The one thing you have to be careful about is how are they, if they start to do this right here, then all of a sudden it's a little bit of a different route combo. And you see that this is a little bit more open. And it's because of the fact that they're on the short side of the field. So the best way to counter that, like I said, is outside quarter here, okay? And then you can you still have a man up to kind of help with that quarter if they're going to start going to that consistently. If they're just going to that once every blue moon, it's not that big of a deal because you're going to consistently stop their best thing. The best thing that they do in this formation is this right here. But if they try to run this setup, let me show you how this plays. You're going to see now this corner route is going to be relatively bagged. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get more in terms of how to run the dollar defense at the best level, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for it, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as the updates to those ebooks. So head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.